Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay, so... <laughs> it has been a little while since I've done anything in the modded series, and I got some good news and bad news for you. I will be sending this thing to Jewel, and we will be doing a little bit of a mission there, at least trying to, and uh, we'll just you know, kind of a test flight and everything else. But the bad news is, is shortly after this episode, or a few episodes after this, you know, we might, if you guys want to see some exploration of Jewel, which I'm probably going to go ahead and record a couple episodes of just exploration and stuff like that, I, I'm probably going to start from scratch with all my mods and with basically just about everything. Because... I kind of want to get the newer version of Kerbal on here. We are still running, I think, 2-3. Doggy is angry. 2-3 uh, or something like that. I, I can't remember what it was or uh, the version before that. And I kind of want to get it more updated and, uh, you know, basically get to the point where we are actually operating with a somewhat recent build of Kerbal. So... It kind of sucks, but whatever. You know, I ended up refueling this. It took me a very long time. I am not very happy about it. But uh, it, the main plan was to go to the uh, our base on Minmus, which uh, I just decided at the last minute it really wasn't worth it. But to go to our base on Minmus and refuel there and, you know, call it a day, basically. And I I just didn't want to do any of that it was just way too much work as it was and not to mention my frame rate has not been good with this whole build so um, the next build possibly I uh, maybe I'll build something like this but maybe a smaller version of it or something like that but you can even see that the time itself is just going by really slowly and it really is just kind of a pain in the butt right now so I, I, I don't really know where I'm gonna go with this or how much further we are going to delve into Jewel once we get there but I'm hoping we can get something like that I did test out this thing just to make sure everything kind of works and uh, we can get a burn set up and everything so one thing I'm going to mention before I start really getting into all of this is that uh, I find a, kind of a trick here. Uh, you know, it's something that I've been using here and there and I kind of found out about it. But if you look at the location of the moon, when it is on the dark side of Kerbin, when, when it is in this area, which would be the dark side of Kerbin, or, you know, if... If you were to put the moon the furthest away from the sun, at least in this spot right here, uh, if you were to have an encounter with it where you're leaving the solar system, it will leave you with a orbit that protrudes out further on this side. But if you were to do the exact opposite and do a burn where it were right here, it would bring your orbit closer in towards Eve. So that, that is kind of one little trick I guess I learned. Um, if you use if you do the burn when the sun is further away from the moon on the opposite side of Kerbin, it, you'll end up out here somewhere closer more to Duna. If you do the burn on the inside when the moon's on the inside, you'll end up somewhere closer to Eve, somewhere in here, I should say, not not in here somewhere in here so it's a kind of a good little fuel saving technique that I learned I don't know how well it actually works because once you need to do your burn and everything you need to make sure everything's aligned and all that good stuff but yeah it's just been uh, it's been one heck of a trip and I can't believe that this thing is actually functional and not only that is that I can actually use it and play with it and yeah uh, it's just too much. I can't believe that this has actually worked in some sense. I do think though that I don't know if I'm going to ever build anything this big again and if I am I'm not going to be building interplanetary ships 
maybe space stations or other things like that, or maybe a mobile space station, which this is kind of like a mobile space station, but yeah, whatever. Uh, no, it, it just too much, and I, I don't know if my com computer can really handle it. I've tried turning the graphics down, I've tried messing with the physics, there's uh, something to where you can s mess with the physics a little bit, it doesn't do anything whatsoever. Um, not to mention, I don't even want to shoot a video nor play the game with the graphics at the lowest possible settings, just because it's not fun. I, I don't enjoy it, so that that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. But, you know, overall, this has been fun. It has been amazing. I've had a lot of really good time, and the one thing I'm going to say is uh, throw in some suggestions, you know, send them on my Twitter, Google+, Plus, or just leave them in the comments on some of the mods you would like to see me play. Uh, some of these mods that are already in the game, if you go into my description, you can see what mods I'm already using. Uh, if you want to, or most of those mods I will be using again, I should say, but if you want to, you know, please let me know anything else. Some of them I will consider, some of them I won't. There are certain ones that people have told me over the times where I've just said, hey, I'll think about it. Um, definitely some of them I don't want to use, but some of them I do. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get too much into that. But anyways, guys, uh, I got a lot of time ahead of me doing this, so I will see you sometime when we get close to Jewel. I don't know if I'm going to edit a lot of this out because it's going to take an absolute boatload of time to get there. So, once again, guys, I will see you then. Yeah, so I decided to uh, show you guys uh, kind of what I was talking about. You can see that we did the burn, and we were on the dark side somewhere over here, basically. That's when we did our burn initially. And, uh, you know, we were on the dark side of the moon. Uh, the moon was further away from the sun, or, you know, curveball, or whatever you would like to call it. And you can see that our orbit actually kind of protrudes out a little bit further. But it, it's not too much, that's all I'm going to say. I mean, when you think about it, uh, you could use this maneuver to possibly save yourself a little bit of Delta V. I, I really couldn't say how much or, uh, you know, what, how far that's going to get you, depending on what kind of mission you're running and depending on the weight and just all kinds of stuff. But you could potentially save yourself some fuel by using that method. Once again, I uh, don't know how well it works. I am not going to say it's the best way, but it is a little bit of something I found that you could potentially use. So that, that's where I'm going to leave it. But yeah, so we got another burn coming up here. Our fuel is looking miraculous, uh, just absolutely amazing. We haven't really used anything, so uh, I'm 
pretty confident we're gonna make it to Jewel, but I'm not looking forward to the Jewel burn itself. So anyways, uh, I'll see you guys when we get to Jewel. I'm probably going to be very groggy by the time we get there.
And we're back, guys. It has been an eternity since we left Kerbin. That's all I can say. I ended up cutting out basically most of the footage of getting here. It wasn't fun, put it that way. I have been playing for roughly about four or five hours now, just straight flying there. This was not what I had intended. Wow, well, intended. But overall, it, yeah, we are looking pretty good. The only thing, we ended up running out of hydrogen on the way here. Um, that wasn't really that big of a deal. We ended up getting, basically, if you can see our orbit right now. Or, well, we can't see our orbit, but. We ended up getting to about right here here in our burn and then we ran out of hydrogen so it wasn't that big of a deal I had about a hundred Delta V left to burn off and that was pretty much it and now I'm going to try something else here I ended up retracting all of the good stuff to see if we can get lucky here which I don't know if it's going to happen or not but it should be amazing if it does so Wow, I ended up checking out my last episode where we went to Jewel, and that one we ended up arrow breaking, and it was somewhere around 116 or so, I, I wasn't 100% certain, I, I don't, I really hope I didn't undershoot it here, but eh, we'll see what we can get. Uh, the frame rate right now is still terrible. And look at the sun, it's just tiny. But let, let's flip ourselves around. So we ended up running out of hydrogen. We're looking at half the fuel that we had when we uh, ended up leaving. Which I'm thinking, maybe if I replace just the hydrogen, we probably would be okay. But that's just my thinking. I'm probably wrong. And uh, we probably also screwed this up a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to whip this whole thing around I'm really really nervous that this is not going to work the way I want it to and this air breaking is probably just gonna completely freeze the game I'm gonna get like two frames a second so I'm probably gonna end up speeding up most of this so you know I'll try to capture whatever footage I can get and hopefully we don't crash and burn on Jewel because that would not be fun Although it would be interesting, but it wouldn't be fun. And I think we would lose like 20 Kerbals or something like that. There's at least 20 of them on, on the ship. So, anyways guys, I'll see you. Hopefully we'll get done with this air break and we'll be in orbit around Jewel. So I'll see you in orbit.
and we survived. That was... I, I was holding my breath basically the entire time. Uh, it looks like our orbit is just a little low, and I'm not... It's not really that bad, but I don't know how much fuel it's going to take to get us to uh, Val here. That That's probably going to be our target here. Um, there really isn't very much else. I really gotta say that they... Oh, wow. I, I, I can't even talk right now. Um, I really gotta say that that was pretty friggin' intense. And um, Val will be our... Our station base, basically, we will <laughs> base basically. I, I there I go again. Uh, we will be getting in orbit around Val, possibly next episode. Uh, if you guys want to see more or, or whatever, you let me know. Uh, I'm thinking I'll probably get in orbit around Val. I'm gonna test out this lander and have a little bit of fun with that. And maybe we'll instead of taking the ship, we will take the lander. From moon to moon, we do have a, a smaller refinery on the lander, so hopefully everything will work itself out. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.